you girl here and welcome to another video i am very tired but today i'm going to be showing you all my lps christmas haul i love these types of videos and i really hope you do too so the lps and accessories was wrapped in this really pretty box merry christmas <laughs> oh, let's open it up this is gonna be fun. So in this box, we have a lot of LPS and accessories. So let's, I'm gonna take out all these accessories and set them to the side so we can review them later. Oh, there's another bag of them. <gasps> no, the cat. So let's go through all these pets one by one and check them out. So how I got these pets is I gave my family a list of LPS I wanted for Christmas and they provided. So I'm going to take a look at each of these pets and I'm also going to see if they're authentic or if they're fakes. So first off, let's grab out this kitty. Now I can't see the peg in this cat and that magnet looks like one of those old Hasbro magnets. So I think this cat may be authentic. I really can't tell. But even if she's a fake, I do love her and she's adorable and I've been wanting this cat for a while. <laughs> Next up is the other short hair cat I have in this box, which is this really cute multicolored one. And this is also another short hair I've been wanting for a while. Again, I can't I can't tell if this one is, I think this one is a fake, but she's adorable, so I forgive you. On to this doggo. See, now that is an obvious fake, but she's adorable. As I said, they I don't really care. This is a, supposed to be the Valentine's Dachshund, and she is adorable, so... Next up, you have the other dachshund. To save time, I'm not going to go through if they're all fakes. I don't really care if they're fakes or not, because I love them all and they're... So, I don't really care. As long as they're not awful fakes. And this one seems to be sitting fine. So, really, really cute. I love the markings. <laughs> Onward to the Collie Boy! And this is a really cute little blonde and white collie. Super cute. This is going to be like one of Kai's friends. Just, just watch. <laughs> so next up are these two boxer puppies. Now I don't have any boxer puppies. I did have this one, but I ended up trading it for my first short hair cat. And now I have them again, and I'm very happy about that. And now... I also have this one, and they're very, very cute. <laughs> Onward to the Great Danes. There are three Great Danes in this pack, and they are all very cute. So you have this cute gray one with pink ears and the slightly darker feet. It's very cute. It's a light gray. I have the dark gray one. You know the one I always use as the bad guy. <laughs> but this one is very cute, and welcome addition to the family. Now we have this cute beige one with a little spot over the eye. And I really do like this color. It's like a nice tan and also has spots. It is so, so cute. <laughs> and now the last Great Dane is this one. Now this one is a fake. And I did do a video of another, of having this dog and getting another one I got from Amazon. And it too was a fake. It's this one. This is the one I got before. It's a pretty awful fake. I mean, the head is bigger. The color is a, is different. Its head is bald, is, you know, like bubbly. Its feet are off. It's just a really bad fake. And that's why I'm going to customize it because I'm never going to use this. So I had to get another one. And this one, by far, is one of the best fakes I've seen of this dog. He's super cute and he looks like the authentic thing. 
And I know a lot of people don't like when you buy fakes on purpose, but if it looks like the original one and it doesn't cost as much, I'm going to buy it because these little animals cost a lot. <laughs> Onward to the sky. Now, I love Cocker Spaniels that are painted to look like guys because I think it's just an amazing mold. And it's really cool. And I love to find ones like this because there's so many Cocker Spaniel molds that just look so girly. And to find one that doesn't is just very nice. <laughs> No, I fell in love with this one when I first saw it in a picture, and now I'm very happy I have finally found it. Now we have this one, and this one is also super cute. I love just like the natural colors. I mean, I have I have um many like multicolored like crazy colored pets, and to have one that's more natural is just super nice. On we go. And here's a super cute greyhound. I have one other greyhound, and that is the yellow one with the flowers on the forehead. Like, you know, like the greyhound everyone has. And I wanted more. And this, and I really love this greyhound. Just the colors and the way she looks. Super cool. Onward. We have this one. I don't know what kind of dog this is, but I absolutely adore these molds. Mostly because they're just so underused. I mean, I see them a lot as, like, background characters. But they just have so much potential. And I just love the face. It is so cute. And now we have this guy. Now, I've wanted this guy since I was playing with Little's Pet Shop and making videos with Mayo. Back when she played with Little's Pet Shop. She had this guy and I loved it. And I'm so happy I finally got it. See, this one, you can tell from all the rest, is authentic. <laughs> Rusty and authentic. Now we have this cute one. Now, I saw this one on eBay, and it is so expensive. I have seen so many listings for it, and I can find one under $20. <laughs> that isn't from China. Now, I assume this is a fake. It may be real, but I don't want to hurt the ears or bend them out of shape by trying to look at the peg. So I'm just going to assume it is authentic, though it's probably fake, because if it, cause I don't want it to hurt my poor little heart. <laughs> On to this German Shepherd. Now, I love the, like the red velvet color to her muzzle, ears, and feet, and oh yeah, and also the, on her back. It is just so cute, like the red velvet goes so well with the white, and she is just so adorable. <laughs> Down to the bottom of the bowl. So we have this cute little chihuahua. I have no chihuahuas of this mold, and I've wanted one for a while now, and I am so glad I have one because it is so cute. <laughs> Also, we have this bunny. I have this bunny. This bunny was actually one of my first LPS I got. And now I have a copy of it. So I may customize it or I may just keep it to trade. Who knows? And finally, we have this one. And it's protective plastic baggie so the sparkles don't come off. This is a very sparkly dog. Now, I didn't even know this one existed until like a month or so ago when I saw it when I was scrolling through eBay. And it is so sparkly and so cute. And just the sparkle just falling off it. It's like, but she is so cute and I just had to have her. So I added her to my LPS push list and voila, I got her. <laughs> Now we've looked at all the pets, time to look at the accessories. So I have already looked through the accessories and I've organized them with like accessories. So let's just dive right on Opening in. Opening up this baggie, we have a table and a chair. 
Now this chair isn't very interesting. I mean, I don't have any, but you probably see these all the time. A lot of people have them. And then this table is actually quite interesting. I've never seen it before, but they're cute. Now onto the baggie of collars. Now there's either two or three types of collars in here. Let's check them out. So, oh yeah, so yeah, there's three. No, don't fall, you're too tiny. So we have these, let's see if there's any more. Oop, there's someone. They all got caught on each other. Ah! which have these bumps on them. So we got a blue, a teal, a uh, weird sickly lime green, and a nice soft yellow. Then we have three of these. They have, these colors are spiked. For some reason, they're all blue. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to get all three blue colors of the same thing, but you know, maybe a gang or some or they could use this friendship necklaces i don't know okay and then there are the ever popular ones with the little tags see it's like a little collar and there's like a little tag as a paw proponent so we have a red one a yellow one purple one pink one and a blue one now I had no collars, so this is very, very useful. <laughs> now let's open up a tin. So let's open up this one. And there's a few baggies in here. So these are drinks and this is food. Oh, there is a donut and a teddy bear. Here, let's take them out and look at them closely. I think this is clay. I think this is a donut made out of clay. How interesting. There's also this teddy bear. How cute. But yeah. Yep, yeah, it's clay. It's a little clay donut. <laughs> Odd. And then there is. Ah! Dope, 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 fall. We have two of these food dishes with some like doggy kibble we have a teapot i don't know why that's not in the beverages pile we have a sandwich i think and a carrot over here in the drink area we have a water bottle i think i have like two other of these we have this bottle, I have one of these, it's orange, and a cup, I have one of more of these, and it is pink. So we have more drinks, and also this cute teapot. I think this may be from LPS Fairies, or it may not even be LPS. And the last thing in this LPS haul is bows! So many bows. Okay. Oh, we also have a little um, bib. So we have a baby bib. We have a spotted bow. Kind of looks like a mini bow, like a mini mouse bow. We have a flower. We have this blue bow and this blue bow. I think they're the same. We have a lot of these, and a little bag. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this haul video. I really hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed it. And make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Oh, well, bye!